December the 2nd and day two of the Advent calendar series. Hope you're doing okay. I hope uh, yesterday's first day of Advent was fun and if you've uh, been opening Advent calendars then you got something of interest and joy. Uh, so today I am wearing another homemade outfit. This is the, let me get this right, the Hepburn top from Charm Patterns. It is the sleeveless uh, ruched version in a v-neck, let me just show you. And this is made from a stretch, sort of satiny finish, polyestery thing that I bought a tiny amount of because it was all that was left on the bolt, but I just loved the print so much, from the uh, Crafty Sewer in Tooting, which is one of my favourite fabric shops in London. Um, and I actually featured it in a video a little while back where I was trying to work out what I could do with it because I had so little fabric that I didn't think I'd be able to really make anything substantial. However, I just about had enough to make this top. So it's got ribbon in the sleeves and the only ribbon I had is um, this pink uh, grow grain ribbon, which is means that the bows are somewhat um, in your face. But hey, it's Christmas. Why not? Also means I'm clashing horribly with my lipstick. So yes, this is that's the this is the this is the top. Um, it's got a V at the back as well. Um, but yes, it's very it's a it's kind of a party outfit, I guess. This one hasn't actually had much of an outing because haven't been to any parties this year. Shockingly enough, I'm sure all of you guys have been out all the time. I don't think. Anyway, there will be an opportunity. So that is the homemade thing for the day. Um, joke for the day. One of my favourite ever Christmas jokes. Do not criticise it or you will feel my wrath. You ready? It's very good. Okay. <clears throat> there are two snowmen standing in a field and one says to the other, can you smell carrots? Yes, I laugh at my own jokes. <laughs> Anyway, moving swiftly on, um, here is your advent calendar sewing hack treat for the day. As ever, if you have others that you would like me to add into this, please leave them in the comments below and I will see you tomorrow for day three of the advent calendar series. Today's tip is all about our friendly friend, the sewing machine, and specifically the needle plate. You'll be familiar with the lines on the right and left hand sides that show you the increments and the distance that you're sewing from the edge. But what you may not have realised is that there is a line on the front and the back of the plate which indicates a 1.5 centimetre distance from the needle. So if you are sewing in a straight line and you need to pivot and retain your 1.5 centimetre seam allowance, you can wait until the edge of your fabric reaches that front line Keep your needle down in your work, pivot your work around, and boom, you're exactly lined up with your 1.5cm line when you continue your sewing.